What's up ladies and gentlemen, David here and today we're going to be checking out the Odin Guitar Sample Pack from Solemn Tones. This is a brand new MIDI guitar instrument that's been in the works for over a year now. Let's not waste any more time and get straight into the demo. So far that sounds pretty sick, so now let's jump into the DAW and check out the interface and just see how it works. So the interface on the Odin is super simple, you only have three knobs to work with. The first one being the tone knob, which is essentially just an EQ knob to help you dial in the tone of the guitar. The second one being the shape knob, which will compress and tighten up the tone, and the third one being the picking speed. When using alternate picking or alternate palm muting, the picking speed control will allow you to change how fast the engine switches from upstrokes to downstrokes. This is great for something like tremolo picking. And then to the left of picking speed, you have the list of Odin key switches. Now, what's really cool about Odin is it basically allows you to program each hand of your, we'll call it a virtual guitarist. For the left hand, you basically program your notes like you would any software instrument, and then you also have different bends you can put into the programming as well. And then for the right hand, you have different picking techniques such as down picking, up picking, alternate picking, palm muting, uh, palm down, palm up, as well as effects and harmonics. So there's a lot you can do with the performance aspect here. And it's actually really easy to program, so let's jump into the piano roll here. So what you're seeing here is two different rows of MIDI. The top row is your regular notes, and then the bottom row is the key switches. The key switches are what tells the Odin whether to palm mute or to up pick or down pick. It tells it how to play with the right hand. Placing a key switch will tell Odin every note after this key switch I want you to do alternate picking or down picking or up picking or whatever. So pay attention to this key switches display right here. Every time I click on a note, the key switch will change based on the note that I'm clicking. Alternate picking starts on zero and then the list goes up from there. So our first key switch is down picking. I'm telling Odin I want this first note to be down picked and then after that I have a key switch going to palm muting. So then that's saying starting that second note I want you to palm mute every note thereafter. Here's how that sounds. Now if I take out this palm muting key switch every note will now be down picked. Now you can see on this section I've went in and really specified how I want it to be played. The first note I want to be palm muted and then the second note I want to be up picked because that's how I would play it on a normal guitar. There's really a lot of flexibility here and that's how key switches work. They're very easy to use and what I would probably recommend is when you're programming your guitar, program the regular notes first. Program what it's actually playing first and then go back in and do the key switches. I found that that's what worked best for me and that just flowed really well. Once you've done all your programming and you've done your key switches, Odin basically sounds like a DI'd guitar track. From there you just add your tone like you would any other DI track and boom you have a guitar track. Now for this example, all of my programming was done at full velocity, but there's obviously a lot more you can do with realism here by going in and humanizing every note. And that's how the Odin works. It's pretty simple to use and it's actually pretty fun as well. Now I did have a bit of an issue when programming the MIDI. When programming the switches directly onto the grid, some of them were being missed. My solution to that problem was simply grabbing all of the switches and moving them over a hair before the grid line. I'm guessing it helps and it makes it easier for the computer to read if the switch comes in before the actual note is played. This fixed my problem completely, so just keep that in mind when programming the MIDI. 
Now as you saw, Odin gives you quite a lot of control over how these notes are played and it actually sounds pretty damn good. So let's take this demo and this test one step further. I'm going to play the track one more time, but this time we're going to go back and forth between Odin and me playing one of my guitars. To make it as fair as possible, I've done my best to match the picking in Odin to my guitar playing. So when I'm down picking, Odin is down picking. When I'm up picking, Odin is also up picking. Both guitars are also going through the same amp and they're coming in at the same volume so I tried to make it as fair as possible. So let's see how it stacks up. Now if I'm being completely honest with you guys, when I was first asked to review this product, my first thought was like, fuck that, MIDI guitar sucks and it always sounds like shit. I mean, what do you guys expect? I'm a guitarist, I've played for 10 plus years, I have plenty of guitars to choose from, so when I need to record something, I just grab one off the wall and play it and record it. I've never really had the need for a product like this, I mean, I've only used a MIDI bass once, but I've never really needed it, so I just kind of always thought they sounded like ass. But then after all that, I thought to myself, you know what, why not, let's check it out, let's give it a shot. And honestly, I'm glad I did because the Odin sounds really good. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I, I guess I went into this expecting like guitar pro type sounds, like super midi sounding, but it sounds pretty damn realistic and I was able to get that very, very easily. I didn't even have to do a bunch of velocity stuff. so. I don't know, I thought it sounded really good. Now the question is, would I use this in a final recording? And the answer is no, I wouldn't. I still think that software can never replace a guitar in a musician's hands, but if that's ever not an option for you, the Odin is a great choice because it sounds amazing and it's probably as close as you can get to the real thing. Me personally, I will probably use this as a writing tool. Actually, a perfect example is at the time of recording this, I'm leaving in like two days to go out of town for a bit and I'll have my laptop, but I won't have any of my gear with me. So now what I can do with the Odin is take the guitar parts that I write with Guitar Pro, export them to MIDI, throw them onto Odin, and now I have realistic guitar tracks to listen to in my demos instead of the just stupid, painful sounding potato sounds that you get in Guitar Pro. Potato sounds. That's, like, that's the only way I can describe it. They sound that bad. So I'm very stoked to try that out. I think I'll really enjoy using Odin when I'm away from my rig just because I like listening to good demos, not not potato demos. See, it works perfectly for everything. Overall, I really like the Odin. It sounds great, it's easy to use, and it really gives you a lot of options to dial in the performance and make it as realistic as possible. If you can't record your guitar, or even if you can't play guitar, maybe you're a drummer, the Odin is for you. You will not be disappointed. It clocks in at $100 and is available right now for the full contact plugin. I will repeat myself, full contact. If you have the contact player, the free one or whatever, it will work but only for 15 minutes in demo mode. As you saw on my computer because contact is so expensive. But if you guys already have it, then you are good to go. Anyways guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below and make sure to check out the Odin. I will put a link in the description below. And also make sure to head over and check out the Solemn Tones YouTube channel also in the description below. They got a ton of cool shit over there and it's just, it's just a lot of fun. On that note guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, there's new videos every single week and you don't want to miss any content. And as always, thank you so much for watching, my name is David, and I'll see you next time.